If you followed my channel for long enough, you probably understand the position I hold on the Olympic lifts. And one of the most common questions I receive about the Olympic lifts from people who might not know my position is why do you do them? They ask this question under the premise that it might be to improve sprinting speed, to improve vertical jumping ability, to improve acceleration, or to improve some other KPI that they have in mind. And there's this common anecdote that gets tossed around claiming that some Olympic weightlifters ran a faster 10 meter sprint than Olympic sprinters. And a lot of people aren't convinced by this anecdote, including Buddy Morris, and I'll play what he has to say about it right here. I don't Olympic lift, never have. I have yet to find the studies or the information that Chris and I talked about at dinner last night of showing in 1968 at the Mexico Olympic Games of an Olympic lifter out sprinting in 10 meters, an elite sprinter. I have yet to see that. Now, I've never seen evidence of this anecdote either, but who cares? To get faster isn't why you do the Olympic lifts. Arguments posing opposition to the Olympic lifts stating that other means of training, loaded jumps, resisted sprints, carry over better to sprint speed and jump height, no shit. Those things are the actual task of sprinting and jumping. It's agreed upon in mainstream strength and conditioning that you don't lift weight for the sole purpose of driving up some quantifiable number like a squat max. That chasing numbers for the sake of chasing numbers is misguided. But this argument is completely ignored when discussing sprinting and jumping. If you have to point to to a marginal difference or even no difference at all in jump height or sprint improvements when comparing Olympic lifts to other means, you're chasing sprint and jump numbers absent to all the other factors that contribute to success in team sports. The Olympic lifts provide a stimulus that can't be replicated regardless of their transfer to sprint speed and jump height. You don't do the Olympic lifts with the intention to jump higher or run faster. You sprint, jump, and do plyos if you want to jump higher and run faster. You do the Olympic lifts for other reasons. There's a ton of value in them beyond transferring to sprinting and jumping. Creating propulsion on an external body of mass only to have to yield that mass again within milliseconds. Leveraging your mass against an external body of mass at a high speed in a short amount of time. Rapidly dropping your center of mass and bracing for a collision. And why would you use the example of the highest level athletes in one sport, sprinting, being better sprinters than athletes of another sport, weightlifting, to nullify the value and efficacy of the Olympic lifts? That's actually idiotic. Buddy Morris isn't even making the argument that Olympic lifts can't supplement an improvement in sprinting speed, which they absolutely can, because you can't make that argument. So what he's doing is he's saying that the best lifters aren't the best sprinters. And the best plumbers aren't the best electricians. The best hockey players aren't the best basketball players. It's a wildly flawed argument and poor justification for why you don't use the Olympic lifts. And a demonstration of his limited understanding of the lifts. So if you ever hear this argument from someone, don't get caught in the trap in arguing about transfer. Just reject the premise of their argument outright. So that's all I have for the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.